Lord to come and bring us the word this morning. Make him welcome home. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. I'm happy to be back again. I was here in the month of May last year. Who can remember what I preached about? Nobody remembers what I said. I bring you greetings from the International Community Church in the city of Memphis, Tennessee. Where I'm one of the ministers. I will remind you what I spoke about last year. Like all good teachers, we want to recap what we said in the last lesson. I said that there are three demonstrations of a true faith in Jesus Christ. One is the fruit of repentance. If indeed we are committed to Christ, our lives will produce the fruit of a changed life. The second demonstration is a life of service and ministry. If we indeed have faith in Christ and we have been transformed, then our lives will demonstrate, will produce a fruit of service and ministry to other people. And the third demonstration, if we have true faith in Christ, is that in our lives we will see the demonstrations of the supernatural power of God. We will see God at work for us and in us. We will experience miracles. And I thank God that this is a miracle service. So indeed if we are true believers in Christ, we should be able to see demonstrations of miracles and supernatural actions in our lives. We will see things which we cannot do in our own strength. We will see God intervene and open doors which we cannot open with our education. We will see ourselves achieving things which we cannot hope to achieve from our family background. That is because we are in Christ. Because Christ in us is the hope of glory. Because Christ who gives us strength to do all things. Amen. Today I have a, a message of encouragement. Leo nina ujumbe wa kukutia moyo. Uh, being the new year, allow me to say happy new year. The, 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 the year is still very young. Uh, so it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a good time to start thinking about the future and the many things that we want to do this year. And we will find our text today in the book of Joshua. In chapter 1 verse 1 to 9. The book of Joshua is the book of Congress. Sorry, come again. It's a book of Congress. It's a book of Congress. Uh, it is a book where you possess what you have been promised. It, it teaches us how you come into what you have been promised. How you enter into your inheritance, into your possessions. How you enter into the promises of God. So if you've been trying to find how can I experience and and embrace and possess the promises of God. Then the book of Joshua is for you. Because you read and see how God works with his people. To move from promise to possession. In the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 1 to 9. After the death of Moses, uh, uh, the, the Bible says, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses is aid. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all these people get ready to cross the Jordan River in the land which I am about to give to them, to the Israelites. I will give you every place where you, are, you set your foot, as I promised Moses. Your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon 
I'm from a great river, the Euphrates, all the Hittite country to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I saw to their fathers to give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from the right or the left. That you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night. So that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. I have commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Amen? Amen. Isn't that a great promise? Isn't that a great verse? That is a verse to read and read and read many times. Because it's an encouragement to us. That as we face the days ahead. That God is going to be with us. And that we will be able to do exploits and great things. If you look at verse 4 it says. And 5. Your territory will extend from the desert to the Lebanon. And from the great river the Euphrates and the Hittite country to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. That to me is a plan of God for me. Is a plan and a promise. And as I was thinking about these words I had an echo to Jeremiah 29, 11. Where the Lord is telling us. For I know the plans I have for you. Declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. We see God giving the children of Israel a plan. And a promise. Indeed he gives a geographical uh, dimensions of where he was going to take them. He, he had a definite plan. And that's what he's telling also in Jeremiah. He, he says, says I, I know, know the plan that I have for you. The Lord has the plan. He knows the plan. And he says, I will bring it to pass. And the bottom line of this plan is to prosper you and to give you hope. Amen. Amen. The Lord has a plan. He knows the plan. And you don't. And he's willing to work out the plan for you. What would you do if you had someone has a plan? The plan concerning things that are good for you. What would you do? What would you do? What would you do? If someone came and said, I have your plan. A good plan. And he's not telling you what is in the plan. But he tells you this plan, the bottom line is to give you prosperity. To give you hope and the strength to endure to the future. What would you do concerning this person? I'll tell you what I would do. I'll seek to be very close to him. I would seek to sit at his feet. I would seek to befriend him. Because it's not only that he knows the plan. It's not only that he has the plan. But it's that he wants to work the plan with me to bring me prosperity. And that's what the Lord would desire of us. But the Lord has found what we do. The Lord has found us out. And he tells us in Jeremiah 2.13 uh, 2, that, that the way most people will respond and let me read to you the, that particular verse 
The Lord says I have found two errors with you. Na Bwana anasema nimepata maofu mawili nawe kwako. Or two evils. Ama maofu mawili kwako. That you have left the Lord who is the true fountain of true water. Kwamba umeniacha mimi nilie chemichemi ya maji ya uhai. And the second error that I have made. Na uh, hofu ama jambo jingine hofu ambayo tunafanya. Or the second error that we make. Ama jambo lingine mbaya tunalofanya. We go and try to make our own fountains. Tumejichimbia visima which do not produce any water. Ambavyo havina maji. So there is someone with a plan. Kuna mtu aliye na mpangilio. And he says I know what's in the plan. Na anasema ninajua yaliyo katika mpangilio. And I want to work the plan with you so that you can achieve prosperity. Na anasema ningetaka kufanya pamoja nawe ili upate ufanisi. But he also reveals to us. Lakini unakataa He reveals to us and uh, sorry anatudhihirishia that he knows what many of us do. Kwamba anajua mengi ambayo sisi hufanya. Instead of ufai. seeking to be close to a person with a plan, kwamba baada ya kutafuta kuwa karibu na mwenye mpangilio, we start devising other plans. Tunajifanyia mipango mingineyo. And uh, in these plans, na katika mipango hii, they, they, they are not good enough to help us. Uh, si mizuri kutosha kutusaidia. I am reminded of Christmas. Na kumbushwa kuhusu Christmas which is not a long way back. Ambayo haikupita muda mrefu uliopita. There were some wise men who came from the west. They Kwa na mamajuzi waliotoka mashariki. There was a plan and a star that was leading them to the baby Jesus. Kulikuwa na mpangilio na nyota iliyoongoza kwa mtoto Yesu. And they continue following the star. Na wakaendelea kuifuata nyota. But somewhere somehow lakini mahali fulani ikatokea. They got distracted. Wakapata kupotozwa. And they stopped following the plan. Na wakakoma kufuata mpangilio ule. And they stopped ule. following the star. Na wakakoma kufuatilia nyota. And what happened? Na nini kilichotendeka? They went to the king's palace. Wakaenda katika nyumba ya kifalme. And they asked the king, "Tell us where the baby Jesus will be born." Na kamwauliza mfalme, "Tuambie atazaliwa wapi mtoto mfalme?" It is mfalme. like these people who are digging wells which have no water. Ni kama watu wanaochimba vizima vizima There was the star mani. that was leading them to the baby Jesus. Kuna hiyo nyota iliyokuwa inaongoza kwa mtoto Yesu. And they stopped looking at the star and they went to the king's house. Lakini wakakosa kufuatilia nyota wakati they were looking for an easier way. Wakatafuta njia rahisi. It, it required intensity. Ambayo it required focus. To continue focusing on the star until you reach the baby Jesus. Ibidi wawe na kulenga na kuendelea kufuata nyota. But they thought it would be easier just to go and ask for the way. Lakini wakatamani wakafikiria ni rahisi kwenda kuuliza njia. Sometimes when I'm uh, dealing with my children, wakati mwingine ninapo kuwa na watoto wangu I ask them to check something. Ninawauliza kutafuta kitu. The first thing they want to do is to pick the phone and call someone Wakati, to ask for the answer. Wakati wa kwanza ni kuchukua simu kumpigia mtu kumuuliza jawabu. But I always advise them. Lakini mimi huwa First of all, do the work of researching on the internet to see what you are going to ask and what you might get. Mimi huambia kwamba watafute kwa mtandao ili wajue ambalo walikuwa wanatakiwa kujua. So that if the person you are speaking to gives you the wrong answer you already know you got ili the wrong answer. Ili mtu yule mwingine akakupa jawabu mbaya utakuwa unajua jawabu ni lipi. And if you have worked in some uh, public offices na kama umefanya kazi katika uh, maidara ama katika ofisi za serikali the most common word is no. Aha uh-huh, la kwanza ama jibu la kawaida ni la. The first time you call you say no that's for, not for you. Ah la kwanza unaloambiwa ni la hilo si lako. No you don't qualify. Ah uh, wewe hauhitimu. So if you had not researched you say okay I don't qualify. Aha uh-huh, na kama hukua umefanya utafiti basi unajiondoa. So we see the wise men tunaona mama juzi. Missing the star and looking for a easy way. Wakiacha nyota wakitafuta njia mbadala. So sometimes we miss the plan of God. Aha uh-huh, wakati mwingine tunakosa mpango wake. Because mungu. we are looking for an easy way out. Kwa sababu tunatafuta njia. Because sometimes we lose the focus. Wakati mwingine tunapata uh, tunakosa kulenga. But God is gracious. Lakini Bwana wa And full of mercy. Amejaa rehema. But even when they went astray. Kwa mba hata walipoondoka kwenye njia. The Lord sent an angel to come to them by night. Bwana akawatumia malaika wa And was able to put them back on the path. Na akaweza kuwarejesha kwa mpangilio. How we all seek the mercies and the grace of God. Jinsi zote tunavyo Because, Because we have mi- many times missed the plan of God. Kwa sababu nyakati nyingi tumekosa mpango wake Mungu. And we have the scars to show for it. Na tunazo alama za kuonyesha kwa mbadala. The scars will remain. Alama zitabaki. But the grace of God. Lakini neema ya Bwana. Put us back to the path. Itaturejesha kwenye njia. We thank nji. God for his mercy. I, I we thank God for his grace. I for who can stand nema. before the Lord right now? Nani anaweza simama mbele ya Bwana? I have never gone wrong. Na aseme sijawahi. I have never missed the star. Sijawahi I have never nyota. missed the way. Sijawahi pata njia. None of us can stand. Hakuna yeyote wetu anaweza simama. Look at our father Abraham. Hebu mtazame baba yetu Abraham. There was a clear plan from God. Kulikuwa na mpangilio mahususi kutoka kwa Bwana. Lakini hangesubiri. He started doing his own thing. Alianza kufanya 
and devising his own quick plan. It was taking too long. So he thought he could work out a, a quick plan. How many times have I tried? And tried my own plan. And I find I have lost some money. But the Lord is gracious. He comes back and helps me. And he helps me to recover. How many times we have erred? But like Abraham, God is gracious. And his plan cannot be thwarted by anyone. No one ever in hell can change God's plan. As long as we come back to it, God will bring us to his plan. He says, I have a plan for you to give you a future in the But there is one who realized that it is by sticking closer to the one with the plan. The one who knows the plan. And the one who wants to work the plan for us. By sticking close to him. You will see everything that you need. David confesses in the Psalm 23. And in a way he is saying. Because I know you have the plan. Because I know you know what is in the plan. Because I know you want to work out the plan for me and with me. You shall be my shepherd. And as long as I submit to you as my shepherd, I shall not want. Because I am closer to you, I shall be able to enjoy what is in your plan. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie in the green pastures. He leads me beside sea waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake. Even though I walk in most very difficult places in the shadow of the valley of death, I will fear no evil. For he is with me. I asked you the question. This, one, this person who says, I have the plan. I know what is in the plan. Is to bring you a great future. What will you do about this person? David says, I will submit to him. David says, I will make him my shepherd. David says, I want to be in his flock. I want to be like a sheep and say, yes, I don't know much. I want to be in your flock. I want you to show me the way. Amen. Amen. I want to be in his flock. Look at verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You, you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And if you are growing old, there is a word for you. I will do in the house of the Lord forever. For those who are growing old and you are afraid that you are going to leave this world not a long time from now you will do in the house of the Lord forever. Amen? 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 Amen. Or you don't know that old people think about that. They, they see the closer. <laughs> The, the, the great evangelist Billy Graham he wrote a book Going Home uh, or, 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 or Coming Close to Home I can't remember the exact title uh, si but it's like he was saying goodbye and then he realized he's, he's not going anyway so, so he has written another book I think it's the, 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 where the strength of my faith or something like that so, so people do think about 
uh, they are passing watu wanafanya vitu kuhusu kwa faith in god na walio na imani ndani yao they are not afraid or that their days are coming to an end in this world haogopi kwamba siku zao za dunia kuisha because this promise i will draw in the house of the lord kwa sababu wana hii ahadi kwamba nitadumu katika nyumba ya baba milele i want you to note something very interesting here ningetaka utambue kitu cha kupendeza hapa but david says i will not lack anything as long as the lord is my shepherd daudi anasema sitakosa ama sitapungukiwa mradi bwana ni mchunga wangu but he notes in uh, Verse 5 Katika mstari wa 5 anasema that you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Kwamba uniandalia karamu mbele ya adui zangu. And then you wonder. Na unajiuliza. Why, why did God get rid of the enemies? Aha kwa nini Bwana hakuwaondoa maadui? If it's a good plan where are there enemies? Aha kama ni mpango mzuri kwa nini basi kuna maadui? The apostle Paul says Mtume Paulo anasema The door has, the, the Lord has opened many doors for me. Kwamba Bwana amenifungulia milango mingi. But there are many adversaries. Lakini kuna adui wengi. For every door there is a giant sitting there for you to slay. Kwa kila mlango kuna adui wa kunyua. Before you enter, kabla uingie, there is a plan. Kunao kunao mpangilio. But it's just that. Lakini hiyo tu. It, it, it's, it's just a plan. Kunao mpangilio. It's got to be worked out. Aha inapaswa kutenda. And the Lord is promising to work with us. Na Bwana anaahidi kufanya kazi pamoja nasi. To bring the plan to pass. Ili kutimiza. There is a promise. Kunao ahadi. But it is just that. Lakini ni ahadi tu. You got to move and possess your possessions. Inabidi uondoke. You got to move from promise to, pros- to possession. Aha inabidi utoke kwa ahadi hadi kutoa. There are many adversaries in every door that God opens. Kunazo uh, kuna adui wengi kwa kila mlango ambao Bwana amefungua. The good thing, jambo nzuri. He says, asema that he will be with us Kwamba even in those situations. Atakuwa pamoja nasi. If you go through the water, ukapitia kwenye maji. It will not overflow you because I'll be with you. If you go through the fire, it will not consume you. Because I will be with you. Kwa kuwa nitakuwa pamoja nawe. I don't care what you, what giants I'm going to face. Haisijarishi na maji tu nitakapatana na Murad. My big brother is with me. Aha, ndugu mwangu mkubwa yupo pamoja nami. We see a young boy tunaona kijana mdogo with a sling and a few stones akiwa na komeo na mawe kadhaa slay a giant akiua jitu it is not the stone or the sling that slayed the giant sio mawe wala komeo iliyomwa it is the power that was behind the little stone aha ni nguvu zilizokuwa nyuma ya lile jiwe ndogo and as we have true faith in jesus christ na tukiwa na imani ya kweli ndani ya christ demonstrations of the supernatural power of god utakuwa na kudhihirishwa kwa nguvu za kiume katika maisha you will see doors open utaona milango ikifunguka that cannot be open because of your education or your <laughs> connection. Ambayo haitafunguliwa na elimu na kuunganishwa kwako. You kwa see great problems is all. Ukaona shida kuu zikidhihirishwa. Even as Jesus says to the wind, be still. Hata kama Yesu anavyoposema kwa upepo tulia. Maybe in your family right now. Pengine kwenye jamii yako sasa. There are winds of destruction. Kunazo uvumi wa upepo ya uongo kwa kuangamiza. There are issues that are going on. Kuna hali zinazoendelea. We are calling on Jesus. Unapoita Yesu. To command and say be still. Aweze uh, kusema the winds of the enemy. Aweze kuamuru upepo za dunia and defeated. Ziweze kutulizwa. Amen. Amen. He is able to say that. Anaweza kusema yale. When the disciples were in the boat. Wakati wanafunzi walikuwa kwenye meli ya kesi na kulikuwa na upepo kwenye And they thought jiu. they were going to be destroyed. Na wakadhania watangamizwa. They called on Jesus. Walimuita Yesu. And he commanded the winds. Na kaamuru ule upepo. He said be still. Akasema tulia. He commanded the storms. Aka be still. Kaamuru zile garika. And tulia. we want to stand against forces the storms of the enemy. Na unataka kusimama kinyume na And we want to command them to be still. Na unataka kuziamuru tulia. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Whatever it is chochote kile let the power of god hebu nguvu za bwana be demonstrated kuweza kudhihirisha as he commands them to be still kwamba anaweza kuziamuru to be defeated na ziamuru zishinde to move up aweze kuziamuru ziondoke let the power of god hebu nguvu za bwana be demonstrated iweze kudhihirisha life maishani mwako amen amina there are many giants kunao majitu wengi but the lord is with us lakini bwana yupo pamoja nasi It is Jesus who said. Ni Yesu aliyesema. If you stay close with me. Ah uh, ukakaa karibu nami. If my word abide in you. Na neno langu likakaa ndani yako. And you abide in me. Na wewe ukae ndani yangu. Ask what you will. Aha <laughs> omba chochote and it will be done. Na kitaenda kufanywa kwako. The issue is staying close to the Lord. Ah jambo ama swara hapa ni kukaa karibu naye. 
staying in his flock ah ukikaa kwenye zizi lake and letting you lead him na uache kuongozi and you will be amazed na utaenda kushangaa sometimes we are looking for very sophisticated solutions wakati mwingine tunatafuta suluhisho zenye zimeenda sana but the lord has simple answers to your problems lakini bwana ana majibu ya rahisi kwako maybe you've been looking in the king's palace <laughs> pengine umekuwa ukitafuta suluhu katika nyumba ya mfalme but you follow the star kwa lakini inapaswa upate nyota you will find the baby jesus utampata mtoto yesu Where have you been looking for your solution? Umekuwa ukitafuta majibu yako wapi? Have you stayed close to the Lord? Je, umekaa karibu na Bwana? Has it taken too long? Je, imechukua muda mrefu? Like Abraham. Kama Ibrahim. Do you want to devise a quick way to fix this uh-huh. thing to, to bring kuta, this promise to pass? Unataka kutafuta njia yako ya mbadala kuleta suluhisho. Or do you want to wait on the Lord? Ama ungetaka kumgojea Bwana? He says I have a plan. Anasema ninao mpango ama mbinu. I know the plans I have. Ninayo mpango kwa ajili yako to bring you a great future. Kukupa usoni. And I want to stick with the one who has the plan. Na ningetaka kukaa na yeye aliye na mpango. I want you to notice three three things about the plan and the promise of God. Ningetaka utambue mambo matatu kuhusu ahadi na mpango wake Mungu. Notice what the Lord told Joshua. Hebu hebu ona ambayo Mungu alimwambia Joshua. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Atakayeweza kusimama kinyume chako siku za maisha yako As I was with Moses so will I be with you Kama nilivyokuwa na Musa ndivyo nitakuwa pamoja nawe I will never leave you nor forsake you Sitakuacha wala kukupungukia But what are you supposed to do Lakini unapaswa kufanya nini Says be strong and very courageous Anasema iwe imara na hodari Because you will lead these people to the inheritance Kwa kuwa utawaongoza watu hawa kwa urithi wa I want to tell you Nataka kukwambia You might not think you are a leader Aha inawezekana usifikirie wewe kiongozi But there are many people looking at you. Lakini kuna wengi wanaokutazamia. They might not even have told you. Uh, Yawezekana hawajaikukwambia. They are looking at you to show the way. Wanakutazamia kuonyesha. There are many in your family. Kuna wengi katika jamii yako. Who are looking to you. Wanakukutazamia. You, they, you might not be leading them when they are but they are looking at your example. Hawaongozi kwa njia yote lakini wanakutazama kama mfano. So the Lord is calling you saying be strong. Bwana anasema for you are going to help many people. Bwana kwa kuwa utasaidia wengi. You are going to help many people. Utasaidia wengi. To also reach their inheritance. Ili waingie kwenye urithi wao. Not only are you going to have your inheritance. Hautakuwa tu na urithi wao. But you are going to help many people. Lakini utasaidia wengine. That's why you need to be strong. Na ndipo sasa inabidi uwe imara. That's why you need to be inabidi uwe imara. My assistant in the office, msaidizi wangu ofisini. Sometimes she would come to the office and break down. Aha, wakati mwingine angeingia kwa ofisi na anaanza kulia. Because her sister, kwa sababu dada yake, who was kind of some not not completely but in a way mentally a handicap. Aliyekuwa na kasoro ya akiri got into an accident akaingia kwenye ajali it was like adding insult to injury ikawa inaongeza maumivu kwa mengine now she had to go and live uh, in a nursing home akawa anabidi aishi katika hospitali ya kusaidiwa ama chumba cha kusaidiwa and this sister had a daughter na huyu dada alikuwa na binti and the daughter was also disabled na huyu dada akawa kiwete and then there was a husband na kukawa na mumewe He had become sick. Alikuwa he had gotten into chronic illness. Akawa na ugonjwa wa mbaya. So as I looked at her, ha, basi nilipomtazama. I told her, nikamwambia, you have to be strong. Inabidi uwe imara. Because if you are not strong and you, these people surrounding you there's nobody who can help. Kwa kama na watu wanakuzunguka you can't be weak. Hawezi you, you have no choice to be weak. Hauna uh, 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 If you are surrounded by nyong. three people who are needed uh-huh. kama umezungukwa na watu watatu wenye hitaji I might want to sympathize with you and and try to cry with you. Ningetaka nikuonee huruma na nilie pamoja. But I'm not going to do that. Lakini sitaenda. I want to tell you be strong. Ninataka kukuambia uwe imara. And I want to tell you today. Na nataka kukuambia pia. There's no time for pity party. Aha hakuna wakati wa kuomboleza. There's no time to seek pity. Hakuna wakati. I want to tell you that the Lord is telling you be strong. Aha bwana anakuambia iwe imara. It doesn't matter what you are going through. Aha kama it doesn't matter the challenges that you face. Haijarishi be strong. Kuwa imara. Be strong for yourself. Aha kuwa imara. Be strong for the people who are around you. Because if you start crying, how is it going to help the people who are around you? What are they going to do? Be strong. Kuwa imara. And the good thing, na jambo nzuri. 
the apostle Paul tells us Aha, be Paul strong in the lord not just, say, not just saying i'm strong Aha, kusema, mimi ni imara, be hoda. strong in the lord Kuwa imara ndani ya and in the power of his might Na nguvu za uweza wake. amen Amina. be strong in the lord Kuwa imara ndani be well connected in the lord <laughs> Ibu we be well hooked up in the grid ukiwa umeingia ndani be strong in the lord Kuwa imara ndani ya bwana that's number one. Yone ya kwanza. And in the power of his might. Na katika uweza wa nguvu zake. That not only are you strongly connected with him. Na sio kwamba tu wewe ni Not only are you well rooted in him. Si kwamba una mizizi iliyozindikwa ndani yake. But you are tapping into his power. Lakini kuwa pia unanyonya kutoka nguvu zake. Because as I have told you before, kwa sababu kama nilivyokuambia kimbele, you can have the electric grid in your house. Unaweza you have the electric uh, uh, wire in your house. Unaweza kuwa na yule uwa ya stima imezunguka nyumba yako. But you might only use it for lighting. Lakini inawezekana utaitumia tu kwa kuweka mata. The other people using it for cooking. Kuna wengine wanaotumia kwa kupika. The other people using it for ironing their clothes. Kuna wengine wanaotumia kupasa pasi. The same same power. Hizi zile zile nguvu. The power is always there. Aha zile wewe umeme upo. So you might be connected but you're not tapping into it. Aha yaweza kuwa unao lakini hautumii. Be connected with the Lord. But also tap into his power. Lakini pia uingie ndani. Continue to extrapolate his power. Uweze kutendeza kazi nguvu zake. There are people who are still ironing using charcoal. Aha, kunao bado wanatumia pasi ya makaa. And they still electric in their house. Na kunao umeme kwenye nyumba zao. Uh, maybe they are not anymore. Are there any more people who are ironing? Bado pasi ziko. Have you seen any? I, I don't know. I haven't seen any. I imagine everybody has moved on. Nafikiria kila moto mmoja ametumia umeme. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if I found someone doing. Lakini sitashangaa nikiona mtu akitumia. The 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 Lord is with us. Ha, bwana yupo pamoja. But you continue tapping into his power. Tunapozidi kutoa kwa nguvu zake. Be strong in the Lord. Kweni imara ndani ya Bwana. And in the power of his might. Na katika uweza wa nguvu zake. The Lord repeated to Joshua. Ah bwana akarejelea akamrudia Yoshua. Be strong and very courageous. Ah kuwa imara na hodari. How do you do that? Utafanya haya kwa njia gani? How do you continue to inspire yourself? Utazidi kujitia moyo kwa njia gani? I spoke to one brother when we were praying here. Nilinena na ndugu mmoja tukiomba hapa. And I told him, nikamwambia, go and read all the verses in the Bible about healing. Aha, enda usome mistari yote ya uponyaji kwenye Biblia. Let them ring in your head. Hebu iwe inachimbuka ndani ya mawazo yako. Anytime you have fear. Kila wakati una hofu. Anytime you have pain. Kila wakati una uchungu. Let what comes in your head. Hebu kila kinachoingia mawazo. The Lord is my healer. Ni kwamba Bwana ni mponya wangu. Read all the verses in the Bible. Hebu soma mistari yako. Every time the devil wants to bring anything against you. Kwa sababu kila wakati shetani anakuletea. What will come out of your head is the word of the Lord. Kila toka mawazo ni neno la God will defeat that which is called if you are facing poverty kama unakabiliana na umaskini all the verses concerning prosperity soma mistari yote kuhusu umaskini any time the devil tells you you are poor kila wakati shetani anakuambia umaskini any time that you someone he says you, i i will tell you another story nitakwambia hadithi nyingine i spoke to someone yesterday nikanena na mtu jana who had gone to a meeting ambaye alikuwa ameenda kwenye mkutano where people were giving testimonies wakati mahali watu walikuwa wanatoa shuhuda and they were saying i was this and now i'm this wakisema nilikuwa sasa nimi and she said na akasema poor me akasema ole wangu I, I, i have not been able to be i cannot give that kind of testimony siwezi toa shuhuda kama ile so, so i asked nikamuuliza what do you call blessing ni nini unachoita baraka in the olden days katika siku za kale we had people who were saved they would come and say kuna watu waliookoka wakaja kusema now i thank the lord sasa nashukuru bwana because my children kwa sababu watoto wangu have now graduated college wamefusu kutoka vyuo they were called the university wameitwa kwenye vyuo i thank the lord nashukuru bwana but i think I, I don't want to minimize that na sitaki kufanya the blessings when our children do well or when we have houses and cars <laughs> baraka za watoto wakifanya vyema ama magari na nyumba but the blessing of the lord is greater than that <laughs> baraka ya bwana ni zaidi ya hayo because jesus said kwa sababu yesu akasema give us this day our daily bread aha tupe ni leo ni tupe leo mkate wa kila siku How much can you eat in a day even if you have a lot of money in the bank ni kiasi gani unaweza kula hata kama una pesa chungu zima baraka kwenye benki we need to rethink what we we think is prosperity. Tupaswa kufikiria upya ni nini tunaita ufanisi. If God has kept you from the last time we met and you are still healthy. Aha kama Bwana amekuweka tangu wakati wa mwisho kuonana na bado una uzima. Is that prosperity? Si hiyo ni ufanisi. God has given you joy for a whole year. Bwana amekupa furaha mwaka mzima. Things that money cannot buy. Aha vitu ambavyo pesa haziwezi kununua. 
I'm not saying money is bad. In my life, I've always worked with money. I think I know much more about money than anything else. So when I say that prosperity is not money, I'm not minimizing the value of money. But I'm saying, if God has continue to take care of you. You have not lacked bread any day. You are a blessed person. And that's what I told that, that sister. That you are a blessed person. You, you have shelter. You, 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 have, you have a house. You have an apartment. You have a flat. You have been provided for. Why would you say you are not blessed because you are looking at other people and saying they were this and now they are this? Maybe you're in that position. You, you still have that mentality. And you are calling yourself poor. Read the word of God. Let the word of God uh, uh, expand all that, those, those notions. The apostle Paul says, Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And it's the word of God which renews our mind. And, and changes our thinking that we can think the thoughts of God. Praise the Lord. I said number one about the promise. That it is God who gives the promise. And he says I have a plan. But, but, but there is there is a response from us. To be strong in the Lord. And, and in the power of his might. And number three. Is a call to action. It's a call to action. You see you can have a strategic plan. A great plan to achieve something big. But it is just a plan. It's just a plan. It is when you put intent in it. And you start working on it. That it starts producing fruit. The Bible, uh, the, the Lord told Moses, uh, told Joshua. Now then, you and all these people, get ready to cross the Jordan River in the land I'm about to give them. Notice what he says in verse three. I will give you. I will give you every place where you set your foot, as I promised Moses. Every place that you will step. It is a call to action. It is time to act. It is time to move into the promise. It is time to break ground. Near my office. There is a road by the name Mount Moriah Road. Kuna barabara kwa jina Mount Moriah. Usually in the evening, I walk for about a mile and back to the office. Maybe I told you the story. So if I'm telling you again, you realize I'm growing old. As I was walking, in an old place where they repair vehicles, on the window, Someone has put a plaque there. And it says, Go ahead. Start something. And I think that's what the Lord is telling us. It's the new year. Go ahead. Start something. Amen. Amen. Maybe you have the plan. But it's time to break the ground. It is time to start. If you've been thinking of going to studies, it is time to go and fill the application form. That's, that's how you start going to college. Or to any training. It's by the first thing is get the application form. Don't worry how the next steps will work out. Don't, don't work out how all the money will be found. Just start something. As you start, you'll be amazed. Where I come from, there are doors, as you move closer to them, they open. 
They are designed that way. Imeumbwa vile. If you don't come close them they will not open. Usipo ukaribia hautafungua. So as you walk towards the door that they open. Ni unapo ukaribia unafungua. And that's the way God works. Na hivyo ndivyo Mungu utenda kazi. As you move towards the door, unapokaribia mlango, they will open. Mlango utafungua. And whatever is required inside he will give it to you. Na kinachohitajika ndani. Oh, whatever you need for the next step you find it inside the door. Na kinachohitaji cha hatua ya pili utaipata ndani ya mlango. The Lord said, Bwana asa. Every place your foot will step. Kila mahali mtakapokanyanga, I will give you. Nitawapeni. I will give you. Nitawapeni. And the good thing na habari njema he says i have the plan anasema niko na mpango and i will work the plan with you na nitafanya ule mpango kutimilia pamoja nawe and we see this when joshua was old na tunaona haya wakati yeshua alikuwa mzee gives a, a report gives a report habari we see the beginning God telling him what is going to happen. Tunaona mwanzo bwana akimwambia atakayotenda. And when he's old now he's giving a report in chapter 23. Na napozeeka anatuambia kuhusu yale katika sura ya 23. Now it came to pass a long time after the Lord had given rest to Israel from all their enemies. Ikaja kutimia wakati bwana alipo wapo na Israeli pumziko kutoka kwa maadui wao. That Joshua was old and advanced in age. Kwamba Joshua alikuwa mzee anaendelea kwenye miaka. And Joshua called to all the Israel for the elders for their heads for their judges and their officers and said to them Joshua aliwaita waisraeli wote pamoja na viongozi na wazee wao waamuzi I am old akasema sasa mimi nimekuwa mzee advance in age wa miaka mingi but look the report he is giving in first 3 of first chapter 23 Hebu tazama habari anayotoa katika sura ya 23 mstari wa 3 ninyi mumeona that the lord has done to all these nations before you mambo yote mwenyezi mungu mungu wenu aliyotenda mataifa haya yote for the lord your god is he Mwe, who God. has fought for you mwenyezi mungu wenu ndiye aliyewapigania they might have thought they were the ones fighting ah ni mungu aliyekuwa na but if you read, read you read the book of joshua lakini unaposoma kitabu cha joshua you notice as they continued following the plan of god kwamba walipoendelea kufanya mambo as they reached mpangu. different stages in this fight walipoingia katika hatua mbali mbali the lord was able mpangilio. to come in and confuse the enemy bwana aliweza kuingilia na kuchanganyisha maadui at one time he just told them to dance around the city wakati mmoja akawaambia wazunguke mji wa kiimba So you don't know what is in the plan. Haujui aliyo katika mpangilio. But there is one who knows what is in the plan. Lakini kuna yeye anayejua aliyo katika mpangilio. You might think that you are going to dance up around every city. Unaweza fikiria utamchezea Bwana katika kila mji. But he gives you a different strategy for every city. Lakini atakupa hadithi tofauti kwa kila hatua. So it is by staying close with him. Ni kwa kukaa karibu naye. That he reveals the plan to us. Kwamba atadhihirisha mpango wetu na kufanya utende kazi. I want to finish. Ninataka kumalizia by telling to go and read Psalm 91 kwa kukuambia uende usome Zaburi 91 which is a like a conversation of three people ni kama mazungumzo ya watu watatu there is someone a messenger of god kuna yeye mmoja ametumwa na Mungu and god is also speaking na Mungu pale anaongea and the right of the psalm the the, the person who whom god is speaking is also na muandishi uh, speaking. ambaye bwana anamuandikia ama anamnenea ako pale pia. it is talking of that person who stays close to god inanena kuhusu mtu yule anayeka karibu na bwana because of knowing that god has the plan kwa kujua kwamba mungu ana mpango this person wants to stay close to god mtu mtu anataka kuishi karibu na mungu and the message of god says na ujumbe wa mungu unasema he who dwells in the secret place of the most high anayekaa chini ya ulinzi wa mungu mkuu shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the almighty anaishi chini ya kivuli cha mungu mwenye nguvu notice what the psalmist is saying hebu tambua ambayo mwandishi wa zaburi anayosema in verse 2 katika mstari wa 2 i will see of the lord ataweza kumwambia mwenyezi mungu he is my refuge and my fortress wewe ni kimbilio langu na ngome yangu my god mungu wangu on him i rely ni naye kutumainia and in him i trust na ni naye ni naye mtumainia Just like in Psalm 23. Katika kama Saburi 23. He says I will submit to the shepherd. Anasema nitajitoa kwa mchungaji. I will remain in his flock. Nitabaki kwenye sisi zizi lake. Because he knows where is the green waters. Kwa sababu anajua kwenye maji kijani kibichi na maji yenye utulivu. He says I will say of the Lord. Anasema nitasema He's my refuge bwana. Yeye ndiye. That is the place I will hide. Yeye hapa ndipo nitakaa. I will stay close to him. Nitakaa karibu naye. Then the messenger 
response in this three party conversation na mwenye kutumwa anajibu katika mstari wa 3 in verse 3 mstari for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler hakika mungu atakutoa katika mtengo and mtengu. from the deadly pestilence atakuing atakuwa katika maradhi mabaya as i told you you need to go and read it by yourself aha nina hivyo kuambia it's a very reassuring sum ujisome ina a person who stays close to god ina mudhibiti anayekaa karibu na mungu and in the verse 14 the lord summarizes it all na katika mstari wa 14 bwana anamalizia kwa kusema Because he has put he has set his love upon me. Kwa kuwa ameweka upendo wake juu yangu. Then I will deliver him. Nitaenda kumuokoa. I will set him on high. Nitamweka mahali palipo juu. Because he knows and understands my name. Kwa sababu anajua na ananifahamu jina langu. I will never forsake him. Sitamwachia. No, never. Wa hata kamwe. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. Akiniita mimi nitamuitika. I will be with him in trouble. Akiwa taabani nitakuwa I will deliver him and honor him. Nitamuokoa na kumpa heshima. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Nitamdhihirisha kwa maisha marefu nitamjaria wangu. Do you see the, the three party conversation? Je, yeah, umeona mazungumzo ya The message of God watani. says if you put yourself under the Lord. Ya kwanza anasema ukiweka ukijiweka ndani ya Bwana. He will protect you. Ataenda He will provide for you. Ataenda He will be with you. Jua, And you respond by saying yes I will. Na unajibu I will put myself nita in his flock. I will submit to his shepherdship. Nitajinyenyekesha uh, kwa, uh, kwa uchungaji wake. And the Lord affirms. Bwana, Because you have done that. Sababu umefanya. I will carry out my part. Nitatenda sehemu yangu. The Lord is my shepherd. Bwana ni mchunga wangu. I shall not want. Sitahitaji. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Hebu tuombe. We thank you Lord for your word this morning. Bwana tukushukuru kwa neno lako asubuhi. That you have spoken to us. Kwamba umetunenea. That you have a plan. Kwamba unao mpango. A plan to bring us a future. Mpango wa kutupa usoni. To prosper us in all ways. Kutufanikisha kwa njia zote. Not only you have the plan, si kwamba tu unao mpango but you are going to work out the plan with us lakini utaenda kufanya ukatendeke pamoja nasi to give us a hope and a future kutupa tumaini na usoni and all that you call us to do na yote ambayo unatuomba kufanya is to submit to you as a shepherd ni kuweza kujinyenyekeza kwako kama mchungaji and you may show us where there is green grass and still waters kwamba utatuonyesha kwenye kijani kibichi na maji yenye utulivu we thank you lord tukushukuru bwana We thank you Lord. Kushukuru Bwana. And now as we continue in prayer. Na sasa tunapoendelea kwenye maombi. You've been praying. Umekuwa ukiomba. You've been checking your connection with the Lord. Umekuwa ukitazama kuunganika kwako na Mungu. That you are well connected to the power line. Kwamba umeingizwa vizuri kwenye uweza wa nguvu. But it's time to tap into the power line. Lakini sasa ni wakati wa kutoa kutoka zile nguvu. It is time to say I want to connect this my problem with the Lord. Ni wakati wa kusema nataka kuunganisha shida hizi zangu kwake Bwana. You have tried to dig wells. Umejaribu kuchimba vizima. You have tried solutions. Umejaribu suruhu tofauti. You have seen the, the member of parliament. Umemuona mbunge wako. You have seen the governor. Umemuona governor. You have seen your big uncle. Umemuona mjomba wako mkubwa. But maybe help is not coming. Lakini pengine msaada hauji. I want to tell you. Nataka nikwambie. That the great shepherd is here today. Kwamba mchungaji mkuu yuko hapa. First of all to give you a word. Kwamba akupe a promise. Akupe tumaini. And to work out the plan with you. Nakutenda kazi pamoja na. As he reveals the plan. Hata anapodhihirisha. Are you tired of waiting? Je, umechoka kugoja? Are you tempted like Abraham? Je, umejaribiwa kama Ibrahim? To pray, to make the plan to pass quickly. Kufanya mpangilio ukatimie kwa haraka. I want to pray for you. Ningetaka kuomba. The Lord will give you that spirit. Atakupa yule roho. Of waiting upon him. Wakuweza kumgoja. For they that wait upon the Lord. Kwa wanaomgoja Bwana. Shall renew their strength. Watapata nguvu mpya. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. Watakimbia na watachoka. Maybe you have gotten weary. Pengine umechoka. Of waiting for the Lord to come. Kumgoja Bwana aje. I want to pray with you. Ningetaka kuomba na. That God may encourage you today. Kwamba Bwana atakupanga. That the spirit of waiting on the Lord. Kwamba roho will be rekindled in you. Utaufanywa upendani. That the peace and the peace of God. Kwamba amani yake Bwana. Will preserve your mind. Utaweza kuishi from all the storms. Kutokana na garika zote. That are chasing you to and from. Ambazo zinakukimbiza hapa na pale. Maybe there are storms. Pengine kunazo at your home. 
at your work at your business we want to call on the name of Jesus so that we can say storms be still so that we can quieten the storms Amen He is the one coming to you and he's telling you cast your nets into the deep for I know where there is much fish by staying close to him you will hear him tell you cast your nets in the deep that is the office you should go to that is the person you need to go and talk to as you stay close to him you will be surprised at the supernatural power of God working on your behalf hallelujah, hallelujah. praise the Lord and now as I pray if you want me to include you in this prayer maybe there are storms that you are facing maybe there are major issues there are giants you see open doors but there are giants sitting at the door I want to pray for you that the Lord will show you where the sling and the stone is at so that you can destroy the giants in the name of Jesus if you can raise your hand and say include me in this prayer if you want to say include me in this prayer there are storms I want Jesus to quieten them there are giants I need a string and a stone yes I see giants sitting at the door of my blessing in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we command the storms in the name of Jesus storms in the families storms at work storms in business yes all the storms from the enemy that have come to disturb the children of God we quieten them we defeat them we destroy their power in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we declare them defeated and we pray that the children of God will, be, will now answer the call to action and, and start moving to their blessing that the children of God the children of God will now hear the call of action to move and step into the blessings of God even as they move towards the door that the Lord you will open the door in Jesus name I pray for those who are unwell we say you are Jehovah the healer I pray that the healing you are of Christ yes this is a miracle service I pray that miracles of healing shall take place yes I rebuke the sicknesses and diseases I destroy their power in Jesus name yes I command them to be uprooted from the roots I command that the hand of the Lord will operate in your body and cut off that part that needs to be cut off and repair that part that needs to be repaired and replace that part that needs to be replaced in the name of Jesus 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 we take the victory we are more than conquerors hallelujah hallelujah we thank you Lord for your goodness we thank you for your power which is present hallelujah. hallelujah we thank you Lord we thank you Lord we thank you Lord we thank you for the promise we thank you for the plan we want to be in your flock yeah we want to be in your flock. For sometimes we think we know but we don't. I want to be like a sheep. Following the shepherd. Not pretending to know much. So that you may lead me where there is green grass and still waters. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.